通り惜しいが約束の三十日が今切れちまったそれじゃあ俺様は消えるとするぜじゃあまたなバッハハイさあこれで元通り念は使えるぜ試してみろよゴンあいにくだが俺はまだお前を認めてねえぜお前の覚悟を見せてもらおうか俺をカイトの敵だと思って撃ってきなもしもそれがふぬけた一発なら今すぐ代わりのハンターを呼ぶまったく師匠も人が悪いぜとっくに認めてるくせによゴン見せてやれよおめえのジャジャンケンでいいのふざけんな少しでも手加減したらてめえは不合格だわかったうんI'm gonna go ahead and just hit that so we can actually hear what we're talking about. All right, so this is my heist update to the Toucan build, version 2.0. So I'm calling it the 2 Toucan. There have been a handful of important changes to the build that matter quite a bit. One of the biggest things that heist introduced were alternate quality gems. First and foremost, Withering Step and Plague Bearer both got huge buffs. A massive move speed boost on Anomalous Plague Bearer. Anomalous Withering Step gets a substantial boost to the amount of withered debuffs that it inflicts. And most importantly, Phantasmal Haste. Phantasmal Haste has gotten the alternate quality boost on it. Buffs on you and nearby allies expire faster. Expire faster is not quite the same as less duration, but it still does indeed equate to reducing the duration overall of Avian's Might and Avian's Flight, which does result in more tornadoes. In fact, when you work the math out, each 1% faster does work out to 1% more tornadoes. So、uh, level 20 with 20 quality Phantasmal Haste linked to a level 4 Enhance. Gives us 44% faster, which results in 44% more tornadoes, which directly equates to 44% more DPS.、And、this is huge. The best part about this is Enhance is only a 115% mana multiplier. So Phantasmal Haste does not reserve a large quantity of mana, even when it's linked to an Enhance support. So, this is, this is rock solid. All these buffs combined has worked out to the build doing about 60% more DPS than it was doing in Harvest League. Yeah, I think the tree is actually pretty close to the old build, anyways. There's some slight tweaks. One thing I have started doing that I enjoy is using the Risk Awareness cluster, which gives us the reflected damage reduction,、uh, combining that with Soul of u g l e、uh, All of that combined does give you enough. Reflected damage reduction that you can run reflect maps. Not having to care about reflect maps is wonderful. I love it and I'm enjoying that greatly. Not being able to roll our cluster jewels with harvest crafting kind of sucks. 
it was a lot more effort to get our cluster jewels done. However, I just had to save up a little bit and I was able to hunt down and snipe the ideal cluster jewels yet again. Pretty much the same as it was last time. I think the only different thing I'm doing this time around is I'm using septic spells, which gives you that 20% chance to poison on hit. The only reason we need to do that is because we're no longer leaning on Herald of Agony. Uh, there's just there's not really an easy way to fit Herald of Agony into the build without having to lean on reduced mana reservation clusters. And if you do that, it does kind of hamper your DPS quite a lot. So not ideal, and it does work out better to just drop Herald of Agony entirely. Um, so that's nice. It also does reduce your screen clutter a little bit, which I enjoy. I think that pretty much covers everything. So I'm going to stop talking now and get to the part you probably have been waiting for. And that is the content showcase. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. Cheers. I am of soccer wall crushing my enemies. <laughs> Huh?